You and your team work really hard in the field to collect vertical electric sounding data. You know that the equipment may be old, but the data is the best quality in the world. You can't really afford commercial software and the unregistered versions make you look silly. So what do you do? Why don't you try GeoVets, a free 1D VS inversion software based in Excel? Welcome to Hydrogeology 101. My name is Andreas de Jong and in today's video I want to introduce you to GeoVest as an Excel tool I made almost 20 years ago for the interpretation of vertical electrical soundings in the Schlumberger array. I hope you enjoy it. GeoVest is an Excel tool with a Visual Basic engine. What this means is that you have to have your macros enabled in order for it to work. Another issue is that I made this tool quite long ago, so the file is an XLS file and uh, please don't try to save it in a more modern file format like the macro enabled Excel file because it creates some problems and then GeoVest doesn't work. So the best thing to do is to take the master and copy it and call it uh, by the name of your resistivity sounding. Then when we open it in Excel what you should see is a yellow security warning like this one. If you do not see the security warning it means that your macro settings are not correct or maybe you're not using an original copy of GeoVest. Okay, let's enable the content and also make it a trusted document so the next time that we open it, it will open without any security warning. Save it. Okay, uh, GeoVest has four sheets. The first one is the info sheet. Here you can find some instructions on how to use GeoVest and I draw your attention to the disclaimer here, which basically says that you're responsible for anything you do with this software. I don't have any liability. Now, the other sheets uh, is uh, the data sheet where we enter all our data. From there, the data is exported to GeoVes. The sheet does the geoelectrical modeling. And there's a, finally a sheet called model where you can have a look at the model and the error of individual uh, calculated points. Let's start with a real example. This one is from the Punjab in Pakistan where I used to work a couple of years ago. Now, we go first of all to our data sheet to enter our data. And what we need to get from our field sheets is the delta V over I data. So uh, I just copied this previously, I'll paste it in and you'll see that automatically the geometric factors calculated here on the left and the apparent resistivity on the right. Please be incredibly careful that this AB over 2 and also the MN data values are the correct ones which you used in the field. Now I've got some standard ones in GeoVest but be careful that they're the ones you've also used because uh, that's a common source of error. Okay, you've noticed that we are allowed to change only the green cells, all the rest are protected. Let's say I try to delete this, I'm going to get an error message. Up here are also some green cells, which are related to our project information. So, first of all, uh, you don't have to use client, project, province, date. I've just put them in as an example. We could easily change these. Um, for example, instead of province, we could put district. and. Um, as we type this in, it will automatically be updated in GeoVest, you see it here, district, and also in the model sheets. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple of information pieces here. Uh, our title here is made up of these two bits of information. Um, you don't have to link it to these two cells, you can easily change this formula if you wish. Of course, the coordinates are very important, as is the, uh, the datum of the GPS and also the azimuth. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's plot the data on the chart. And you see we have an immediate visual impression of our data. All of our apparent resistivity curves 
match together really well between the different MN spacings. Congratulations to my colleague in Pakistan who did a fantastic job to collect this data. It's really good quality. We're ready to send the data to GFS. It's a bit of a warning because uh, when I made this software, computers run so fast. Okay, uh, here is uh, GeoVest. We're now going to make the geoelectrical model. We can have up to eight different layers, but I encourage you to use the minimum amount of layers that you can. Usually we don't need to use more than three or four. Um, we need to type in the resistivity and a thickness. Obviously there's no thickness for layer eight. Now, the way we do this is we look at our first data point. It seems to be coming from about 10 ohmmeters. So let's type in 10 here and uh, give it a thickness of one meter before we move on to layer two, which has to be higher because this is going up. This is 10, 20, 30. Let's try uh, what it looks like with 30 ohmmeters. Um, not too bad, but it seems to be a bit steeper than the data, so I'm going to bring it down a bit, maybe 25. Uh, it is now parallel to the data, but we need to shift it up a bit. Maybe I'll make the first one tiny bit more. That's not too bad. Okay, so our first two layers um, uh, are okay, but now our third layer uh, has to have a slightly lower resistivity, because you can see that the data is going down. So what I usually do is I just type in five meters here and then guess uh, at the next resistivity, which is maybe, let's say, 20. Actually, it's probably a little bit less. Let's make it 18. Okay, um, it is parallel to these data points, but it needs to come up a bit. So the way we do that is we increase the thickness of layer two. 6 meters, 7 meters, 8 meters, and 9 meters. I think that's almost perfect. Okay, so that's our first three layers. Our fourth layer is going to be slightly more resistive because you can see the data points are going up. So again, we add 5 meters in here, and I'm going to guess at 30 ohmmeters. Type in 30. Now, it looks a bit wrong, but that's because our thickness of layer 3 is not enough. Let's try what happens if we increase it to 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters. It's not going fast enough. Let's make it 50, uh, 60, and maybe even 70. Okay, we're almost there. I want to bring this red line up a little bit more. Let's try 35. Uh, maybe that's too much, uh, 34, maybe a tiny bit less, 33. Okay, I'm happy with the fit. What we do now is um, we have a look at all our data points. Let's go to model. And there might be one or two points which are far away from our um, model. For example, maybe this one here, uh, which we can then eliminate by uh, going like this. Just delete the one which is next to it. Actually this data is so good that I don't really need to delete any points and we can go straight away to our sensitivity analysis. But before we do that let's save it and then we press sensitivity analysis and sometimes it's fast, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, this is an area where I might improve the program a little bit. Okay, our sensitivity analysis is complete and you can see by these dotted lines how accurate our model is. If the dotted lines are really far apart we should take another look at our model and maybe modify it a bit but I'm quite happy with this result. Okay, let's save it and the next thing is that uh, we need to print it, so we just uh, we can press print or even export. I like to export it as a PDF. Remember to press on options and select entire workbook. OK, and we're going to publish it to the desktop. Press publish, yes. OK, here it is. Let's have a look at our PDF. 
Now we don't obviously don't need the first page, but here's our first data page. Notice that everything is in black and white. That's to save you on your ink. And you see all your data here and the plot of the apparent residuity uh, data. And then on the second page here is GeoVes, the, the data with the model curve going through it, the geological model on the right, uh, a table with all of the um, geological model information, including the depth here, and on the final page, a bit more detail about each of our measured and modeled resistivity points. And down here we can see the sensitivity of the model. So for example, um, the depth here uh, might range from 76 to 85 meters, whereas we've modeled it at 80 meters. Okay, so that's uh, GeoVes. I hope that you have enjoyed this little video and that you found it interesting and useful. I'm going to leave a link to GeoVes and also to this data uh, so you can try it out by yourself. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comments below and I'll try to answer it for you. So thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next one.